tell me about dogs don't dance because obviously look, yeah. strictly that's where you met your man yes I mean, strictly is like the best thing that ever happened to you yeah and um, this is great do you know what it looks like this looks like um my angus and ruby angus of course you, you yes have as well i have indeed well that's dave and dusty we're either gonna have a dave a dairy or a dusty and right. we won't be dave and dusty dave in and the Dusty's end good. I like yeah dave and the dusty. Dashons. no dogs don't dance but they do really <laughs> yes, they do. Well, do you know what? With this book, the thing I love about it is obviously the dance element is there, Strictly Gorka. Yeah. Um, I'm always mindful that I really can't dance, but I gave it my go. Oh, come on, you go can. Well, well, no, with Strictly, you learn a dance routine. You don't learn to dance. I was saying to Tyler okay. before, it's, you learn a routine, right? but then it's forgotten. OK. But I still tried. Yeah. And I still did really well, and I had the best time, and ultimately it changed my life because... I met Gorka, we've got children. I know. So the kind of message with the book is for children, so if they try something out of the comfort zone, even if they're scared, give it a go, because you never know how it could end up. That's it could, you know, true. it could completely, you know, change your life in the best way. As is always, particularly with, obviously with children's books, the yeah. illustrations are beautiful. Yeah. It's Lisa, Lisa Hunt. Lisa Hunt, them. yeah. I, which is which is kind of Creepy. weird in a way. Yes, I was Lisa Hunter, my first job, Lisa Hunter. And uh, Scholastic sent me lots of different illustrations from, from different people. And I went through them and I said, I really like this one. I said, how, how the characters are, how the drawings mm. are. And I didn't know who it was. And then they said, right, we'll go with that one. It's a lady called Lisa Hunt. And I went, oh, See, it's meant to be. It was meant to be. Yeah. It's beautiful. And you know that you'll be... I mean, have you read this to your kids yet? I mean, I know your little one is, like, yes. months old. Yeah, he chews know. it. Tiago likes to oh, yeah, chew yeah, yeah. it with his teeth. I read it to Mia. She loved it. Good. And at the back, we've put some dance moves in. We've done the dust and slide, which she's perfected. Good. Um, I'm going into a school tomorrow to read it to the kids. Which I like the dust and slide. That will be the ultimate test, because kids have no filter. They're very honest, aren't they? Oh, they'll tell you if they don't so like it. So if they don't like it... Mia said she loves it, oh, so that's no, they'll good. Be fine. She's your best critic. There's no yeah. point. I mean, I know all the experts can say, yeah, this is great. Yeah. But if Mia had gone, nah... Yeah, that the, only, the only complaint she had is, why were they not called Norman and Ollie? Oh, because that's your dog. That's our dogs. I said, well, it had to be a D for Dashons. We wanted... And she said, ah, oh, OK, that's fine. Right. Dashons are great dogs. Yeah. I absolutely love them. And how's yeah. everything? You were out on a date night the other night. You actually we got out on years. a date night. Six years we celebrated. And it was actually with Mum. She said, go and do something together. Because we don't normally celebrate our anniversary. We do, but just like a night in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little meal for two, but whatever. You've got kids. It's yeah. Fine. Um, but, yeah, it's been... It feels like, in the nicest way, a lot longer. But I think yeah. because we're apart so much, that's why it feels longer, in, in a nice way. Mm. Um, it's, I mean, the job he's doing now is fabulous because he's a, a judge on the Spanish Strictly. Is he? Yes. Ah, so he, fly, he flies to Madrid every Friday and he flies back every Sunday. Fantastic. So he's, he's like the Anton, he said. He's the nice, the nice judge. Right. So he's home during the week, but then at weekends, I get my space, I get time with the kids, he gets to go and do what he loves. Do you know what? It's perfect. That is... I, I couldn't agree with you more. My husband right now is on holiday with the boys. Right. They're having... In Spain, funny enough, yeah. they're having the best time, and I'm kicking my height at home because I can yes. just have beans on toast whenever I like. It's, it's nice. And it's lovely. I wouldn't want it all the time, thanks. No. But now and again, yeah, it's small quite nice doses. just to have a little bit of time to yeah. yourself. Of course, inevitably, there's all this nonsense about the two of you. I know. How stupid is that? We read that we were having a rough patch. <laughs> Did and you it, giggle at that? Yeah, or, well, or did you get cross? It was actually my auntie who messaged me and she said, is everything OK? She says, it oh, says geez. in the press. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. But I think... I mean, I, I get how people would find it strange that we're apart a lot. Yeah. But that's how it's been since we met. You know, for every year I know from... August till Christmas, Gorka knows he doesn't know where he's going to be based. Right. Until he gets his partner, if he has a partner, right. he, you know, they go to where the celebrity is. Ah. But because I've done Strictly and I've, I know, know that side of it, yeah. it's not new to me, it's not a shock to me. I mean, there's, there's people, army wives, their partners are away for six, seven months. Of course they are. Of course And they, they make out, I'm moaning about, I've been on my own for three weeks. But it's the complete... You're having, you're having, I'm the, having the best time. time. Yeah. But also, it's very healthy. Yes. I do think it's very healthy. Definitely. I think that, that, you know, within couples, should have your own, you know, your, your own friends in some ways. Yeah. Obviously, you've got mutual friends, but your own hobbies, your own, you know, you, all of that. And work as you well, You don't want to be de so dependent on each other that you can't do anything without them. No. And I think that's what's great about me and Gorka is, on his own, he's great. On my own, I'm great. But together, it's like kind of more unstoppable. It's, it's just so nice when it comes together. Now, look, the book is Dogs Don't Dance. Does yes. Mia dance? Because Mia was dancing with her dad. She was. She loves dancing at home. She was doing dance lessons, but she told me she wanted to stop. So we've packed them in. OK. She wants to do gymnastics. Fantastic. But I'm always reminding Mia, because the first thing people say when they see her is, are you going to be a dancer like your I papa? Know. I know, that's difficult. And it's amazing for her, but I'm always mindful of reminding her that I'm not a dancer, mm. but I still 
dance. It doesn't matter if a song comes on and I like it. Oh, you don't need to do it professionally. No. Just do it for fun. Exactly. And I always say to her, even if you're not like Papa, you can still dance like Mummy and you'll be a, you'll be brilliant. <laughs> and she's like, OK, yeah. I like that. I yeah. do like that. And you're right. I mean, we don't go up to, you know, somebody who's the son of a banker and say, are you going to be a banker? Like yeah. your daddy. It's, it's a lot for them. She's like, oh. <laughs> But she loves... We, we put music on every morning in the house when we're having breakfast. And, it's great. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's fantastic. Listen, good luck with Dogs Don't you. Dance. It's absolutely adorable. It really is. not it's a lovely story. And then... Um, your daughter likes it, so that's it. Yes, winning. It's out now, isn't it? Yeah, available now in all bookstores, yeah. Fantastic. Good luck with it. Thank Good you, luck. Lorraine. It's a lovely story. Thank, Thank you very you. much.